think we're going to go ahead and, and move on to the um, questions and answers. Um, at your leisure, go ahead and uh, put questions in the uh, chat box to the upper left. And as those come in, we will address those live today. And uh, if, we're, if there's extensive questions and we're not able to address all those, if there's a need to uh, pursue some additional information on those, we will post those unanswered questions on our website. Um, so um, we do have a, a commitment to making sure you get your answers. So um, any questions that people want to post, feel free to go ahead and begin uh, putting those in the chat pod. Okay, so first question that's come in is, can the nutrient capture from dairy farms centralized to set, uh, farm centralized to group several farms that are close from each other to increase efficiency? Um, I'll speak to that quickly, but I'm also going to let the other speakers do that as well. Um, yes, we see a lot of interest, and actually there have been systems where uh, you will see a centralized, for instance, anaerobic digester, and then manure will either be pumped or trucked to that central location. Um, there are uh, examples of that here in Washington and Oregon. Um, Dana and uh, Craig, go ahead and feel free to answer uh, from your experiences as well. Uh, this is Dana. We don't we don't see much um, centralized dairy just because of the water issue. Um, so if we do see anything centralized, it's usually uh, poultry or something else, something that's drier and, e drier and easier to truck. Uh, Joe, I just add that. I agree with the person who posed the question that there is some interest and some potentials for economy of scale with centralized digesters. Um, there are a lot of problems in terms of uh, health, safety, wastewater uh, disposal, um, and also trucking of manure can be very costly. Pumping is by far the most advantageous route. Craig, do you have some comments? Uh, no. Okay, so <clears throat> there is another question come in, and it relates to um, are the systems, can they be self-developed or purchased from the industry? Um, I, uh, I know that all the, the, the technologies have been shown today are all produced by specific companies. Um, there are specific aspects of those in terms of operation and maintenance and design. Um, so my quick answer would be that uh, these are all systems that are going to need to be bought uh, commercially versus um, built by yourself. Uh, Craig and Dana, would you like to also comment? Yeah, one of the three, um, one of the three phosphorus separations was actually built or assembled more or less by the producer with minimum outside input. Um, but that also proposed some technical challenges because there were some things missed. So generally, I'm going to say they're going to be built with uh, with the outside support or with the industry, their technology provider. But they can be. Uh, same same goes for digesters. You know, you can build one yourself, but um, you know, there's advantages to going with people with people that have experience with that. Craig, I would agree with both comments there. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for being on today. Uh, please sign back in with us uh, January 17th uh, for our third in the series of nutrient management webcasts.